we thank you. Well, hot and dry conditions causing a number of issues across the state from roads buckling to wildfires even sparking by vehicles. Nate Larson is live along US 89 where that road has buckled twice in the past 48 hours. Nate, what's it looking like out there now? You know, Courtney, Emily, fortunately, a lot of the repairs have already been made and uh, roads are back open, but there's an older section here on Highway 89 in Davis County where cement slabs make up a good portion of it. Now, they're designed to expand and contract with our changing temperatures here that we have in Utah, but when temperatures remain too hot for too long, those cement slabs start to buckle. Whether it's sparks from vehicles causing brush fires along the roadway or high heat buckling the road itself, Drivers need to be aware that calmer weather in the summertime doesn't always mean safer road conditions. We live in a state where we have extreme cold temperatures, extreme warm temperatures, so they've got to make the roads able to handle those things. So as part of that, we need to make sure as drivers that we're paying attention and know that the possibility is there for these road buckling, things like this to happen. A wildfire along I-70 in Grand County has burned nearly 2,000 acres so far and is presumed to have been caused by a vehicle crash. And vehicle damage was reported on US 89, where the high heat caused the road to buckle. It's usually typical to see these in older pavements, um, where where the expansion joints will sometimes get clogged with dirt or grit. And um, and you know if you think about the road as a, as a breathing thing, yeah. it, it needs room to uh, breathe these concrete panels. And and when they don't have that room, they essentially move in on on themselves. And and that's where it'll start to crumble and sometimes even act as a ramp. Two separate sections of the road buckled in just 48 hours. We usually see about a, a dozen, maybe two dozen of these incidents happen every year. And, you know, it's it's really impossible to uh, to predict where they're going to happen. And that's why our attention needs to be on driving so that we're looking well down the road to be able to spot these hazards that may, be, that may appear. Um, they don't happen frequently, but they do happen from time to time. And we do experience them uh, each year as, uh, as we get these warmer temperatures. And just as you would prepare your vehicle for winter travel, make sure it's ready for these hot summer days as well. Uh, we have had uh, times where, you know, these have caused some delays and uh, we don't want people to, to run out of gas on the roadway. So we want to make sure that they're prepared for those. So make sure you have a tank of gas, any, any things that you may have. Uh, if you hit one of these, they have caused some damaged tires. And, and for instance, uh, yesterday and the day before did cause some damage to tires that we had individuals that, uh, so make sure that your spare is in good condition in case by chance, if you do hit this. So repairs that were made on US 89 over the weekend yesterday, uh, so in Sunday, uh, they took about four hours for in each case. So fortunately, roads were back open pretty quickly. Now, Gleason also says with the potential of more heat in the next week or so, hotter temperatures, we could see more roads buckle in the next few weeks. Live on US 89 in Davis County, I'm Nate Larson. Back to you. All right. That's